Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So the past week has been a very exciting week for a lot of Battlefield fans. We were actually being bombarded by good news from EA and the four studios actually working on the next Battlefield game, and all of the news were oddly good. I mean, everything that Battlefield fans needed to hear from EA and from those studios were actually there on a silver plate ready to be heard. That was the exact thing that happened in the last week. However, as you guys probably know, because you're probably a Battlefield fan or you've been playing Battlefield in some sort of way, you guys know EA and you guys probably know DICE. And you probably know that they have a very bad record of saying big words and not just doing them or doing a very small portion of them. Like making them real and making them a part of reality isn't something that they are good at. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look back at the news from last week and uh, that's gonna happen really quickly for those who missed out. And then we are going to take a look at all three possibilities that I think might happen to the next Battlefield game. One of them is actually pretty cool. If that happens, then we're all set for a great Battlefield experience. And if not, then the whole franchise is probably doomed. But before we start, if you guys are into Battlefield games, if you are generally looking for a channel going around FPS games, this is the place for you. Do make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. So that way you won't be missing on the future videos on the next Battlefield game, my guides on 2042 and the worthwhile FPS games out there. So let's get straight into things. So last week what happened basically was Vince Zampella, uh, he is the head of Respawn, having a sit down with IGN and then we had the EA Investor Day. They said something about the next Battlefield game as well and then we had an exclusive insider gaming article, some leaks basically about the next Battlefield game. So all in all combined we got some pretty interesting news out there. So let's take a look quickly. The next Battlefield game is going to have a modern setting. It is going back to 64 players, like the form of 64 players. We are not going to have 128 game modes anywhere in the next game. The next game is going to get rid of specialists and it's going to go back to the basic class system, which is pretty damn good news. We're going to have all out warfare, meaning we're going to have air vehicles, land vehicles, and also sea vehicles, just like we remember from Battlefield 4. We're going to have natural disasters, which I probably think there's just two ways to it. 2042 has a lot of natural disasters. We have like sandstorms, hurricanes, and all that stuff, and they're not really good comparing them to the evolutions that we had back in the day. So we can't really say for sure what they mean by natural disasters, but it could possibly be some levolution system again. We don't really know. Battlefield CT is going to return, which is, again, pretty damn good news. And it's going to help a lot in the process of developing the next Battlefield game. The game is ready to be played right now as we speak, guys. That game is set to be ready to play. Actually, it's been played every single day in the past year. These are big words. They are big words to even think about, but these guys are actually speaking. So is it real? I mean, they said exactly the same about 2042. Oh, the game is ready. Everything's there. That beta, ah, it was nothing. It was just a uh, pre-build, things like that. We are used to that kind of stuff. All in all, we've heard everything that we like to hear. And that's something that EA has always been good at, telling you what you like to hear. But that's one thing. Making that happen is another. So because of that bad history, we've got three possibilities here that actually can happen to the next Battlefield game. The best one and the possibility number one is that the next Battlefield game is going to be a great game that's going to start perfectly and things are going to even improve from there. If you ask me the probability of this, I would say like 10, 15%, 20% at best. That's what it is. And if they actually want to gain the lost trust of Battlefield players back again, as they said, this is the only possibility that these guys have. They have to start the game perfectly. Everything should be perfect and everything should even get better from there. And it will. If they can actually pull off a Battlefield game that good to be considered great at day one, then things are going to be pretty decent in the upcoming years. So that's the best thing that can happen. Possibility number two, the game will be mediocre at launch and then will slowly progress and become better, which is exactly something that happened to Battlefield 2042. It, Battlefield 2042 wasn't mediocre. Let's make it clear. It was a disaster, but it got better and better over time. And if you guys ask me how possible this is, I would say it's the most probable possibility that can actually come into reality. And honestly, this is something that I believe will happen to the game. But what about possibility number three? The game will be a complete and utter disastrous shit show. Something like Battlefield 2042. And it will get better slowly as we progress, but it won't be enough. Like 2042 is a playable game right now. And I would say to some degree even enjoyable, but it just won't cut it anymore. And the player counts on Steam say it all. 
people are literally not playing this game. People prefer Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 5, hell, even Battlefield 3 over 2042. That's what people prefer. And being off to a good start for us as Battlefield players is not something that we are used to. Like, let's be honest. Battlefield 3 didn't start so well. Battlefield 4 was terrible at launch. Battlefield 5 didn't start so good. 2042 was a disaster at launch. And the only Battlefield right now that I remember launched great is Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 did really launch great. And to this day, it's still a great Battlefield experience. Considering all of that, if DICE and three other studios that are working on the game could actually possibly deliver a great game on launch that will literally just revive battlefield franchise because like it or not battlefield is not in a pretty good state not even call of duty is in a pretty good state and if i want to be absolutely honest with you not even fbs genre is in a good place it's just how things are right now but battlefield really needs a redemption and if the next game turns out to be a good game then that's good for us we're gonna see our favorite franchise back from the dead and that's gonna be really good news and i will be absolutely excited to be a content creator for that game but on the other hand it might not be good at launch it might be actually terrible and that is way more probable than you think and i was probably the first person that actually stated this the next battlefield game is going to be the final stand for the whole battlefield franchise if that game is a good game then the franchise is revived and if it's not then we literally have to kiss battlefield franchise goodbye it is really heartbreaking to say this and it's really sad to even see battlefield franchise in a situation like this but that is reality if that game turns out to be a disaster the whole franchise goes down with it because there is literally nothing left of battlefield anymore how many years do you guys think that battlefield 1 and battlefield 4 can keep on going they will finally see their servers shot and that's going to be the end of it and there will literally be nothing more of this franchise. However, I just want to be as optimistic as possible. I want to consider these people to mean what they say and say what they mean, probably for the first time in my life. That's, that's not actually being hyped for it. I'm just trying to be as optimistic as possible about what's going on. Because like it or not, it doesn't really matter if you are not optimistic about this. They are going to do what they're supposed to do. And if they want to mess it up, it doesn't really matter if you're optimistic about it or not. I'm just not a fan of being hyped for anything. And I don't really want to to have like imaginary hope and i have to tell you i don't even trust these guys on their words and as a final word what ea and specifically ea has to be aware of is that the next battlefield game is a really critical and crucial release the whole franchise actually depends on it. so go down in the comment section guys let me know what you think about it let me know if you think there is another possibility to it we had three possibilities let me know what possibility is more probable to occur what do you really think that's going to happen to the next game i'm pretty sure you guys can't trust ea just like me and probably just like everyone else but let me know if you guys are optimistic about the next game or you just think that it's going to be a mediocre game and something just slightly better than 2042 or no even maybe worse than that so do let me know what you think about the future of battlefield franchise and until next time guys stay cool